This exhibition is called Artists for Conservation. It's an international exhibit of nature and art. It's wildlife from all over the world. There's 63 artists and 63 works of art. These artists are really focused on conservation efforts, on um, um, education, and on um, showing beautiful works. Some of these paintings look like photographs. They're just so realistic. It's amazing to see. Um, others have uh, a real painterly approach, and you see a lot of their brush strokes and bold colors that might not be totally natural. But they're so fun and whimsical, so you'll really see it all. The artist who painted this iguana really wants to highlight animals that might not be cuddly or furry or expected in a painting, but truly, she's made this iguana beautiful. If you take a close look at this piece, it's made of paper, cut out paper, really intricate, really delicate. There's coral reefs, there's sea turtles, there's fish, and the artist really wants to highlight the delicacy and the fragility of nature, especially the coral reef and just the tremendous diversity around it. Visitors will see formal portraits of animals, um, as well as scenes of wildlife in their natural habitats. There's one in particular, there's an eagle portrait, and the, the artist in particular said, I really wanted to paint this very formal shot of this eagle. I want to um, give him the respect he deserves and sort of elevate him to the role that maybe portraits of people play when you typically would see them in art. We have a tribute to artist John Siri Lester, who passed away last May. He was a signature member of the Artists for Conservation group. He's also a, a major part of the James Collection. John was a, such a proponent for conservation, and he supported efforts through sales of his paintings. And he was just a wonderful person and such a great wildlife artist. He was one of the, the best of his generation. One painting in particular is this one called Black Jaguar, and it's a running jaguar through the water, and you'll notice the water likely first because it's so light and bright, and the, the dark jaguar is silhouetted against a dark background. John loved painting dark on dark images. He loved that mystery and the ambiance it created, and he was so great at painting atmosphere, and you'll really be able to see these through his paintings. My hope for this exhibition is that people will be inspired. Maybe there's future artists, maybe there's future environmentalists. Um, there's always something people can do to really help um, the um, natural habitats for animals. And um, I think it will really inspire people to get involved in their community, maybe go to a nature preserve or a park. Um, it's, uh, it's a special exhibition for people to see.